this is the overdose section of the trip story. If you haven't watched the environment story, make sure that you click here and watch that before you watch this video. Whoa. Took a little too much other 25. So a week later, for the health of myself, I bring over four friends. I took about one tab. So I'd been taking like little bits of this M bone, like I would be taking like a quarter to a half, which if you were to do it, which I don't recommend, you should take not the full tab, quarter or a half, just so you don't die, because you can die from 25 hours. So I took a whole tab this time. I was feeling fine or whatever, and I said to myself, I want more. I'm not feeling it. I want that less feeling again, which I should have just left it. But I took another three quarters of a tab, and we were listening to music, and it was all going good. It was night time and the music was a bit loud, the neighbors might get annoyed. So I turned the music off and I looked in the mirror and so it went from a vibey situation to a maybe anxiety. I looked in the mirror and I remember looking in my eyes, they like form this triangle, like my mouth and my eyes were something like this upside down triangle. It felt very red and a lot of pressure was in my head, like uh, a string around my neck, like a tie, a collar, and I had took my shirt off and I couldn't take this collar off my neck. And I felt this pressure in my head. Vasoconstriction is what I've learned now, is what it's called. I said to my friends, hey guys, like, is my face turning blue? And they were like, oh yeah, it is actually. Like, oh, like something's wrong here. And uh, I couldn't breathe, I got some water, I got a flannel on my head. Uh, my friends were helping me out. And I was just sitting outside, talking to my friend, like, very negatively, like, bringing him into his bad trip, like, into his bad spell. And, uh, he managed to get away, but I was still locked into this downward spiral. Felt my, my brain was totally empty of all thoughts and all creativity, and my, it was like an ego death of, like, a dirty, horrible ego death, not like a clean one, like, uh, in DMT or... LSD or something, it was terrible. I remember thinking, oh, I'm gonna have to go to the mental ward if I survive from this, because I felt like I was gonna die, I couldn't breathe, my head was blue. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna take the bus to Ward 17 tomorrow. And I just remember thinking, I'm gonna have to break through on DMT, three hits of DMT by a lake to get over this feeling of totally brain dead. That's what I was, I was a zombie, I was brain dead, Psych I was a psychotic person now. I couldn't think, like my, my friends were talking to me and it would go through one ear and out of the other and I couldn't understand anybody. Five to ten minutes later, I was like in one of my friend's arms and I was like trying to speak and I was just like, D -d 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 -d. like I realized that I was like seizuring in her arms, falling, like blacking out. Like I was thinking I should call the ambulance or something, but I'm glad that I didn't because I managed to snap out of it. I remember going onto my computer and I didn't understand like any of the songs that were on the folder. And I clicked a Clamp Cicino song and I couldn't, re I couldn't understand what anybody was saying, but I could recognize this song and it kind of made me remember who I am. I kind of felt this feeling of learning all of the things that I've learned in primary school again and learning the alphabet, learning everything that I've learned, gaining it all back, all this knowledge back and I was felt this feeling of relief and I'm finally coming back to sober reality, normal me and that's very lucky that I snapped out of that and my brain was just totally fried still afterwards though like uh, I just overdid it. I had HPPD for a while after. And so HPPD is hallucinogen persisting perception disorder. And so it's basically you have like you're tripping when you're sober, basically a little bit, like in your visuals or maybe in your head. Like if I was driving at night, the street lights, the light is like this, but the, there'll be streaks going up, like vertical streaks. And I think this is from one of the, the earlier trip where I was at that school and I walked across this field with floodlights going and I was just staring into these lights. It looked like I was like that feeling of crying. 
when your eyelids are still wet, your eyelashes are still wet and it has vertical streaks. So that's the APD that I had from that. And uh, luckily it went away. Yeah, it took me probably like a year to uh, get over the HPD, but some of it was like enjoyable. Some of it was just distracting, like if I was in class and I was trying to write on my paper and the, um, the ink or the, the words were like uh, ants, like the end bone visuals, just uh, dotted, you know, moving around, the letters are moving around type of thing. But at the end of the day, 25i is not a drug to be messed with. You know, I prayed to God that I came out of that trip, and I did. And when I was starting to come down and come back, I just thanked God, and I'm forever grateful that I got through that. So if you were to choose a psychedelic to trip on, I would definitely suggest not doing it at all. But if you had to, make sure that you choose a more organic drug rather than such a synthetic chemical like 25i. Shrooms or LSD is a safer option as you can't die from them directly, the chemical. Whereas with 25i, loads of people have died. Loads of people have been sent to the hospital. Yeah, let me know in the comments if you've had any experiences with 25i. I'd be interested in knowing or any other uh, overdose or near-death experience with, with psychedelics or drugs. Yeah, how's your life now and stuff like that? I'm fine now, so you don't need to worry about it. I'm just a little bit slow from the weed, but that's it. And uh, I'm making tunes. If you fuck with this top, uh, let me know in the comments. It's a Godspeed shirt. It's from a Godspeed EP, my beat tape. I made it like two years ago. It's a EP of spiritual beats. I got more EPs coming your way. I got Carful Experiments Volume 2. Dropping this year soon with uh, more VFX and visuals from me. And I got Ancient Tech, a rap EP with Jules and CJ Topoff and a few other artists on there, which I've collaborated with to make a beautiful tape. So, a big lesson that I learned, although that was a pretty shit time, is that nature is beautiful and that the trees will, they love us and they love me. That's all I need. I got the message. Also let me know if you're keen on some more trip stories. Reporting this trip story is very hard for me because it's like six years ago. I have some more recent trips which are positive and negative. Yeah, just let me know down below if you want to hear them. I think that psychedelics, when used responsibly and with intent, have the power to guide you on your path and show you what's really there. They show you what's really there in front of you. They show you the beauty of the world as well as the ugliness, but they show you you can, you have like your full potential and what you can be if you if you use them right and if you use them in the right setting with the mi right mindset with the right diet beforehand and all of this i'll probably do a video on intent and uh, setting up your trips for positives and success but yes they can be used for good but 25i it can be used for good but i would highly not recommend it as you can die from it and anything that you can die from is not worth doing